Hi, my name is Andy Kramer, and I am with PTA. Um, I'm here with Matthew Lynn and Colin Duncan. And today we are going to discuss should the Mavs pursue anyone, and if so, who? All right, Matthew. You know, for me, I think there's only one clear choice that's still logical, and I think it's another superstar that wants out of the city who's been there for a long time, and I think the answer is Damian Lillard. I think it's a pretty obvious decision to move by the Mavericks. Mark Cuban is a great owner. I think that he can make it possible. And I mean, we have to give up Jalen Brunson, but if we're giving up Jalen Brunson to get Damian Lillard with Luka Doncic, I think that's fine. I just don't think Luka can keep going at this pace to reach the NBA Finals, which is what we all want. And I think it's hard for him to do that if he doesn't have any help besides Spencer Dimwitty and Max Kleber. All right, what's your opinion on that? Um, I have a take that will not be very popular with many people. I think one person who would fit perfectly in my eyes with the Mavs is the former Philadelphia 76er Ben Simmons. The Nets are... Kyrie might want out soon, and the duo of KD and Ben Simmons probably won't get you there, so maybe they'd like to move KD. Look at the Mavericks and see Christian Wood, Luka, Spencer Dinwiddie, Jalen Brunson. All those guys are fine offensively, but they all lack defense, so why don't you bring in a guy who can guard one through five, one of the best defensive players in today's game, pair him up with those guys, and they're championship contenders. All right. You um, have... And back to your point. Yeah, back to you. So, you have any rebuttal? Yeah, rebuttal. I, I just think, I think Ben Simmons has proven that he can't shoot the basketball. And yes, you might bring in that defensive presence. Be bringing Damian Lillard. You have another deep ball shooter that can help with Luka. Luka's three point shot is already one of the best in the game, a little bit behind Curry's. But I think that Damian Lillard getting added to Dallas, I think, would make a huge difference into reaching that goal in the NBA Finals to the first year. Well, now, second-year head coach and Jason Kidd, I think he did a good job his first year reaching the conference finals before losing to the NBA, eventual NBA champs, the Warriors. I just think Damian Lillard's a perfect fit that we could put it at the shooting guard position. I just think Damian Lillard isn't going to – I mean, you guys will still have a huge hole defensively, and Luka is going to want to command the offense, and so would Dame. I don't think they would pair well together because they both need to sort of be the quarterback in their offenses. All right, that was good. Um, now, we have another topic. Best landing spot for Russell Westbrook. For me, I think the best landing spot for Russell Westbrook is actually the New York Knicks. I think it's possible because I think from the Lakers, the Lakers don't want him. I think that he could go to the Knicks and be useful with R.J. Barrett, Obi Toppin, even Derek Rose. I think he could be a great veteran leader for the Celtics. Um, and you. Personally, I'm extremely high on Russell Westbrook. I think that he is severely underrated and overly criticized. And this is also another unpopular take. But I think Russ, if Russ just goes to Oklahoma City for half a season, what Oklahoma City likes to do is flip players, show that they have potential, and then trade them right back. If Russell Westbrook can command that Oklahoma City team and be their guy for just half a season, they would flip them for, you know, a younger, more valuable, more valuable assets, and it would be a win-win situation, and they could trade Russell to a contender. All right. Is there anything you want to say? I just think that I don't think it's very possible that he gets dealt back to Oklahoma City, especially after he won it out. I think that uh, the Knicks are a much more solid, solid option viable option because I think he'd be used in the offense more. And yeah, but Oklahoma City Thunder don't have anybody good right now. But still, I think with all the draft picks they have, maybe that they just wait, go through a couple years of pain, and then they can assemble a really good squad, a young, talented squad, and that can take them a long way. I do agree that the Knicks would be a good fit. I just think that Russ's value right now is severely – Lowballed. It's being lowballed. It's nowhere near where it should be. So if a team like Oklahoma City kind of put the stock market game bottom low, they could sell them high. All right. Thank you, gentlemen. That was fantastic. We will be right back and a word from our sponsors.